Psalms 122. A beautiful psalm. A song of degrees of David, the king of Israel. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Two things. It's not the temple. The temple was built by Solomon. Number two. It's not the church. God does not have a house as a building. When Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in, midst, in the midst of my name, there I am in amongst them. And then where Paul writes, he says, we are the temple of God. So don't go digging in Psalm 122, there's the church. I was happy when in the house of God. We meet as a gazebo on Friday afternoons in the park, Lord willing. And it's not a house with walls, a ceiling. Thank God keeps us dry when it rains. But the people that gather underneath that roof. And then there are some people that come and they have other agendas in our Bible study. And they're not of the house of God. It's a shame today that what you believe is the house of God, and I can't imagine churches calling their, their Baptist church temples. Yeah, it's a temple, all right? It's a temple to worship. It's the people. And I've got to laugh with Torah 19 that many of the church buildings are closed. Ha, 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 ha. That's not nice. This is the truth. So this is not the temple for David. The, de the temple long after David died. It's that curtain that he looks out the window one day and says, God, you know, I live in a house of cedars and God lives out there in curtain. That ought not be right. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Now this is a, a present psalm for the time that uh, David is writing. And it's also a millennial passage when the Lord Jesus Christ will be seated in David's throne. How magnificent that will be when the curse is removed. Jerusalem is a builded city as a city. And it's builded when David's alive. And it's builded more when Solomon. And it's destroyed during the time of Jeremiah. And it's builded with Ezra and Nehemiah and destroyed by 70 AD. And it'll be builded again with the Lord Jesus Christ. That is compact. Established, united together. You go over there now and you get the Holy Land experiences. You're paying Arabs, you're paying Catholics to tell you this is supposedly what the Bible says, that they don't believe the Bible. How foolish is that? I'm a Bible believing Christian, I've gone to the Holy Land, I paid an Arab and I paid a Catholic to tell me. Uh, did you check your brain in at the airport? You paid an Arab and you paid a Catholic to tell you what the Bible says? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. How about when the Lord Jesus Christ takes us in Jerusalem? Wouldn't it be great, I don't know, wouldn't it be great Jesus takes us on a field trip and lives out the Gospels of his life, that'd be interesting. Not better than any, any Arab or Catholic. I wouldn't trust the Catholics with salvation. You're going to trust it. This is where Jesus was. This is the same people that said, oh, we've got the head of John the Baptist. Uh... I was at another church and they said they had the head of John the Baptist. 
Oh, see, what you don't understand is they have the head of John the Baptist, the baby. We have the head of John the Baptist, the adult. Okay. Yes. Okay. Christians fall for it. They don't think. I know I upset some Christians. I don't care. I upset you because you know it's true. That's, that's a, I become your enemy because I spoke you the truth. I hit the pride. I kicked the pride. Whether the tribes, and there's 12 of them, go up, the tribes of the Lord, and that's what happened during David's time, and this is going to happen in uh, the time of Jesus. The tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Not just Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The tribes of God. Which would be more towards the millennial when they are actually acquired by God and given the new heart, the new spirit, and their sins are forgiven. But it's also the time of David. David had the love for the Lord and he put it into the nation. Onto the testimony of Israel. That would have been the, the ark. That would have been the, the, the law of Moses. To give thanks unto the name of the Lord. And that's one of the things that the law spoke about. One of the things was it wasn't just a sin offering, but there was a, a thanksgiving offering. For there are thrones of judgment. David was a judge. Absalom became a judge for a while. The, the Levites were put to be judges. David has established, and Jesus is going to establish with himself, the apostles, and the Christians that get the right to an inheritance in the land. We're going to be in judges. <coughs> the Bible says the, the 12 apostles sit on 12 thrones judging the nation of Israel. The thrones of the house of David. David's son, David's family were judges, and the Levites, and the priests. Pray for the peace in Jerusalem. That peace only comes when Jesus Christ comes. They shall prosper that love thee. And David's talking about the city. And he's talking about God. God uh, David's referencing the city is with God, and God is with the city. And if God's not there, then and Jerusalem's just another pile of heat. And this would be the city that David's talking about, where Jesus Christ will be established. Peace within thy walls. There's not walls there today. Partial walls. And prosperity. Oh, there, there's the prosperity. Within thy palace. Places of ruin today. For my brethren, the Jews, and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be with, peace be with thee. And that's Salam, 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 Jerusalem, city of peace. Salam, S A L E M. That's peace. That's how the Jews greet each other. Salam, peace. Peace be with you. Are you kidding? Are you telling me peace in Jerusalem? Do you know how many battles David fought? David fought with the king of Israel, king of Israel Saul. King David fought with his own children. Even Solomon, he had peace, and yet he had a battle with uh, Jeroboam. There was another one that became his adversary. The Romans, when Jesus were came, they were in power. There's no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. And that peace is only going to come when Jesus comes. Because of the house of the Lord, the tabernacle, our God, I will seek thy good. And that's where the Christians today, they put that church to, is David said, because of the temple, because of, he didn't say because of the temple, he said because of the house of the Lord. 
He says, because, Lord, the house of the Lord, I am going to seek thy good. What did he say? The curtains? Absolutely correctly not. Inside that tent where is the most holy place where the Ark of the Covenant, where the mercy seat was, that's where God was for the nation of Israel. And we've come to bring that to our Baptist churches today. We have an altar. Where is that in the Bible? You got an altar? You know what the altar is? If you want to run to the house of the Lord or the temple of God, you know what the altar? There was fire on the altar. The brazen altar had fire where you brought your lamb and your goats and your, and your sheep. Hebrew says, not of goats, not of blood of lamb, but by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't have that altar. And then you went inside, you got the incense altar. That's where fire is a coal, the brazen altar went in there and lit the incense. And if you had any other fire, Nabab and the bayou, you're gone. You know, there are prayers lifted up in church that don't mean nothing, have nothing to do with nothing, and they're just praying to look how good I am. And God don't call fire down and you're gone. We are the building of God. David, the building of God was linen sheep. Uh, badger skin. When was the last time you saw a church with badger skin? No, you got Sin that is born of a sinful nature, redeemed and adopted by God through Jesus Christ. That's the that's the building, fitly fitted for each person in its own proper place. Don't go be running to Psalm 20, 122 and see the church building. That ain't it? You're lying. Shut up. 